Here is our brand new individual total body lineup for Massa MX5 Miatas. Here we got the 1.6 ITB kit, the 1.8 ITB kit, and the 1.8 ITB adapter for 4AG, for Toyota 4AG throttle bodies. After loads of testing and development on our previous 4AG kit and ITB adapters, we finally completely redesigned everything and came up with our own kit for both the 1.6 and both the 1.8. I'm Niels Ullerling and let's show you what these are all about. So right here we got a 1.6 kit, here's a 1.8 kit, and over here we got a 4AG throttle body adapter for the for 4AG Toyota throttle bodies. This is for the 1.8. I'm gonna put this aside for now, come back to this later. So here we got the 1.6 kit. Uh, one of the major differences with the 1.8 kit is the injector holes. The 1.8 has the injectors mounted into the head, unlike the 1.6, which has the injectors built into the manifold. So it also comes with a bracket and hardware to mount the fuel rail and the injectors. So that's one of the major differences. Like the 4AG kit, both kits have a fully billet adapter machined out of a solid brick of 6082 aluminum. So unlike the 4AG kit, this kit has a completely redesigned throttle bodies. Uh, they're cast out of aluminum, precisely machined, use brass. The butterfly valves, stainless steel allen bolts to keep the butterfly valves in place. So the throttle bodies feature a lot of uh, a lot of adjustability. Over here we got the most important screw, which is the idle and synchronizing screw. So these are used for synchronizing the throttle bodies as well as setting the idle. And then over here we got this rod connecting all throttle bodies together. This is all set out of a box and it shouldn't be touched. Same like the screws on top here. Uh, these are used. To, uh, to set a stop for the butterfly so it doesn't bite into the, into the housing. This is also set and soon to be touched. Unlike most other bodies, these other bodies feature a vertical butterfly valve opening instead of a horizontal, which makes this kit more compact actually, as the throttle wheel, which I will show you later, is actually flat against the, the bottom of the throttle body, uh, which, which which makes it very compact and uh, easy to service your uh, oil filter and stuff like that. It just makes it a smaller package, which is nice. For the velocity sacks, they're also fully billet, machined out of 6082 aluminum. One of the major differences are the velocity sacks, the length is the maximum we could reach with a, a ride and drive and ABS system. So they, these fit on every possible MX-5. So both the ones with ABS, right hand drive, left hand drive, without ABS. Um, ideally, they would need to be longer, and we will also come up with spaces to, to have these longer, and it will give you a bit of extra torque. Uh, so stay tuned for these in the future. On the bottom here, we got four ports for the vacuum, like the uh, 4AG kit did as well. It's a 1.8 MPT thread. Uh, over here we got the TPS which faces to the front just like the, the stock throttle body does. Uh, See, so Heltec TPS, very reliable, very precise. This is, can be used for alpha and tuning. We will cover tuning and setup in a later video. But uh, Heltec, nice, reliable unit. A little adapter harness for the TPS. Uh, this depends on uh, which model of kit you choose. So. You will need to choose the chassis uh, of your car, and depending on that, you will get the, the right uh, the right adapter. This connects to the TPS, and then simply plugs into your uh, original harness, which makes it completely plug and play. As far as throttle body kits can be plug and play, because of course it's quite a quite a big change over the stock intake, but this makes it very easy to install. So this is one of the differences which makes the 1.6 kit for the MB different than the 1.6 kit for, MB, uh, for NA, same with the 1.8 kit because the MB uses a different, uh, different connector so when you select the MB kit on, the, on our website you will get the right adapter. Same thing for the, for the throttle wheel and uh, the bracket over here, the cable length on the NA and the MB is different so again on the website you can select if it's an NA or the MB and 
depending on that you will get the, the right bracket over here and the right throttle wheel. This throttle wheel is also fully billet, machined out of 6082 as well. And same diameter as stock, unlike the 4AG kit which, uh, which uses a, a bigger diameter wheel which caused some issues with, uh, with pedal travel. So this is uh, exactly the same throw pedal and same view as, uh, as OEM. So that's about it for the 1.6 kit. Like I said, 1.6 kit with a bracket for the, for the fuel rail, variety of bolts to mount it to the head. Uh, you will need to remove one of the studs. Uh, again, I will show that in, uh, in the installation video and then the hardware to install the, the fuel rail. Comes with a comes with an adapter for the TPS and, uh, and an intake gasket. And this one is actually one for the 8 gasket. So let's switch over to the one for the 8 kit. Unlike the one for 6 kit, this doesn't come with a uh, with a fuel rail bracket as the fuel rail no as the injectors mount into the into the head. So it's not required on the one for the 8 kit. Um, but just like the one for six kit, it also comes with a TPS adapter, also varying if uh, on the NA or NB chassis and the intake gasket as well. So the one point eight kit compared to the four AG the previous four AG kit actually has an increased angle of uh, a mounting angle to the head, which improved power. Uh, so this one is actually quite a big improvement over the four AG kit, the previous four AG kit. So like the 1.6 kit, the 1.8 kit also features a billet adapter. Um, what's special on the 1.8 kit is that it actually has two bolt patterns. So this will actually make the kit work with the BP05, BP4W and the BP6D. Um, better known as uh, the 1.8 GT. So this kit will actually fit on all 1.8s, all 1.8 uh, MX5s. Same, uh, similar idea of throttle bodies. Same, uh, same type of adjustment screws for idle, same stops for the butterfly and uh, very similar velocity stack as well. On the bottom as well, very similar, same throttle wheel, same bracket, same TPS and like the 1.6 kit it also features the 1.8 uh, MPT uh, fittings. So that's, that's about it for the 1.6 and 1.8 kit. Um, Beautiful pieces and definitely the first step in making good power on a naturally aspirated build. Uh, one thing I would like to cover as well, which is a common question, is what do I need apart from this uh, to, to get my uh, to have my car running on ITB. Uh, basically this is all you will need to get it started and running if you're on a standalone ECU already, but I highly suggest using a standalone ECU. Um, but there are a few things which you could add, which I also recommend, and that's one that's air filters. So it's either shock filters which slide over on the velocity stacks, very simple solution, easy to take off on, uh, on meetings to show off your uh, beautiful velocity stacks. So that's the easiest solution, shock filters. But, uh, to mayor <coughs> But uh, the best solution for making power is actually the PX600 Pipercross filter with the Hummeling base plate, which are both available on the website as well. The shock filters tend to be a bit restrictive. In my opinion, they look better um, than the bulky PX600, but for making power, this is definitely the way to go. You're not going to lose power at all with this filter, and you're going to lose a few horsepower maybe. And you're maybe going to lose a few horsepower with some filters. So that's it for air filters. Some people use them completely without. It's not recommended by me, but that's of course a way. And uh, for making power, that's uh, definitely a good way. But just know that you're going to have some uh, dust passing through the engine. Uh, that's it for the air filters. Uh, one thing I really recommend using is a vacuum block, which connects these four fittings on the bottom, these four uh, threaded holes, to a vacuum block, uh, which can be used to have, uh, which can be used for the brake booster, for example. And usually your fuel pressure regulator also needs vacuum. Uh, if you don't want them, we also have blanking plugs, 
like for example when you remove your braking booster uh, you can just plug them off with a uh, with our blanking plugs but I recommend using it it's nice to have a nice vacuum source for uh, for the fuel pressure regulator as well as the brake booster and then there's several fittings which we sell on the website as well the vacuum block comes with six fittings so that's more than enough usually um, but you will also need fittings on the bottom of the ITBs so we two different fittings it's either these the little brass 4mm normal normal bar fittings or these Festo 6mm uh, quick release fittings for, um, for Festo lines. Again, this will be covered in the installation video as well, so please make sure to check that out to see the further details on these, on how to uh, install the vacuum block, how to run the lines, how to use the quick release, why do we use the quick release fittings. I like them, uh, really nice way. Yeah. There are a few euros more, but definitely worth it. As they, uh, they, they will make up for it then and I. Again, that's all. all with <coughs> Again, that's all showed in the installation video. Uh, so that's it for the new kit. Let's take a look at this piece over here. That we're not done yet with the 4AG adapters. So this is a completely redesigned 4AG adapter for the 1.8. Same like this kit, it uses the dual ball pattern, so it will fit all 1.8 MX5 engines and it adapts to the 4AG throttle bodies, the Toyota 4AG silver top throttle bodies to be exact. It will fit with the black top throttle bodies, but it does require a little bit of porting to, the, to these, as these, uh, these are just a circle and on the black top they use a, a diamond kind of shape, but they are specially designed for the silver top which in my opinion is the better diameter for the for M5 engines as well unless you're gonna be revving really really high and pumping a lot of air um, but completely redesigned steeper angle for the throttle bodies so it will actually look better compared to the old adapter and it's a bit improved for the matching into the stock post especially designed for the for the for the BP4W and uh, the, the 1.8 PVT as these have higher ports so it's basically max on that because if you want to make power definitely use these heads they flow a lot better than the BP05 so the kits are also designed on these but like I said they will also fit on the BP05 and they will work just fine but just know you're going to make more power with the BP4W or the 1.8 PVT so that's it for the 4AG adapter this is for the 1.8, we might do a 1.6 adapter in the future um, but yeah, basically demand for the 1.8 is a lot higher and that's why we chose to do another run of these for now we're focusing on the, on the new kits we're coming up with a lot of new parts for these as well spaces for the velocity stacks, different air filter solutions, air boxes a lot is coming, please be patient, we try our best to uh, to have them out as soon as possible but it takes a lot of time for development and uh, and it's expensive to be honest to design all these parts but uh, I'm very happy with the new kit I'm definitely uh, looking forward to do a lot more testing and developing on these and uh, say especially uh, some turbo builds with ITBs they are coming in the future as well so stay tuned for that thanks for watching Please make sure to check out the website, link down below in the, in the description. Thanks a lot for watching and uh, see you in the next video.